everybody. Today we have a super interesting interview with Shu, who is a dropshipper, who is super active in Autodesk's dropshipping community. So we decided to do this interview to give you motivation and inspiration about dropshipping business. How are you today, Shu? Doing great. Lior, how about yourself? I'm great. Thanks. Thank you for coming and uh, sharing your knowledge and experience with other dropshippers. Um, so I prepared some questions to you, which will be really interesting for uh, people. Um, and I will go over them. You can share everything that you want, everything that you think, and uh, just uh, let's help people. Okay. So my first question to you is, uh, uh, when did you start your dropshipping business? I actually started around mid-June of 2020. I basically just was searching on YouTube how to do eBay dropshipping because I was seeing a lot of ads about it. It got my interest and then I saw Paul J. Bliski and then his videos. Uh, one of his videos rejected me to AutoDS, which I saw you, Lior. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it a try. And you know, first two weeks, 30,000 sales. <laughs> How much? Three thousand. Three thousand dollars. So you sell. Uh, you sell in. Three thousand in a in a sales. Yeah. Nice. And uh, in which marketplace uh, do you sell right now? Uh, just just eBay only. E eBay com. Yeah, eBay eBay uh the seller hub. Yeah. Okay, cool. And from which uh, suppliers do you sell the dropship? Well, I was in the top three most records see on um, YouTube, which was Amazon, Walmart, and Home Depot. But I haven't had any success with Walmart or uh, Home Depot. All my orders have been through Amazon. So right now, what, what, what is your main supplier? Amazon. 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 Okay. Yes. Cool. And uh, you just stopped using the other suppliers or are you still trying to work with them too? I'm still trying to work with them. I'm not going to give up on them. I know eventually the sales will go through them too, so yeah. I see. Okay. Interesting. And uh, you said that $3,000 in sales in how much time? Two weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks. Amazing. And with which percent uh, of profit? What is your profit margins? Um, probably around like Close to 27%. Wow. Yeah, 27%, yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Um, and do you work with the, the API version or the non-API version of AutoDS? I actually use the non-API AutoDS. Cool. And uh, how did you come into the dropshipping? So you just searched in YouTube from ads and that's how it started? Yep. I did. The first week, I actually did myself, which I made only around like around 17 sales the first five days. And then um, after that, I saw Paul's course and I, Paul, and then I purchased his course. And I, I learned more from his course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, he has a really great course and in general, I'm good at the channel. Yes. Uh, so it's cool that uh, you really became uh, successful so fast uh, and then that. Um, I really believe that people should invest in themselves to succeed, so it's uh, yes. cool. What were your first steps? Uh, you just purchased the course and then you first learned the course or started immediately to work? How it worked? I think, I think my first two steps was actually to do how stuff works, watch videos, watch other YouTubers, and I'll watch some of your guys. And then trying to find out like what is working right now, what isn't working, see what people's feedback is. So make sure you actually do your research uh, when you're a beginner before you actually get into it. Can you repeat this? Your internet is a bit uh, slow. Say that again. Can you repeat, please? Because I think that you had some lags in the internet. Oh, okay. Okay, so one of my first steps as a beginner was say do your research because you want to make sure that you know what you're doing in this uh, industry, you know. So I would say do your research by going to like YouTube, Google, maybe even like 
find some groups to talk to. Yeah. So basically, you also working, you know, with community and people to work together, like to learn together. Yeah, because um, I feel like ever since I joined, I me saying like, how do you start? What what do you do? And like, how how do you get the results so fast? You know, and then. I pretty much just tell them what I did. Just go to YouTube. If you have any questions, to ask me, or even ask the community themselves. Because people are there to help each other. So yeah. Yeah, community is something which is super important. That's why we also yeah. spend so much time and effort in this, and that's how we also came to you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> how do you find your uh, products to sell uh, from uh, Amazon to eBay? How do I find my products? Well, I actually use Paul's three step where you pay pretty much just go find any product and then you post into eBay and then you look for the drop shippers, which there are a lot. It's you, you copy and paste the Amazon titles and then you double check their drop shipper and then you check their ratings and it was recently and from there up, that's how you find your competitors. That's it. So you first find uh, dropshippers from Amazon using the uh, titles from Amazon. Yes. Then you sell them on eBay and starting to follow their best products. Yes. And you do that like manually from eBay directly or do you use any tools for that? I do, I do, I do it manually and I also use Zik for, uh, for the research and, and the research competitors as well. Yeah. Right. So it helps you to save time? Yes. Nice. And uh, is it your, and you work like uh, with the products manually one by one or do you work with bulk uploads? I usually do work uh, one by one or I actually use uh, the scheduling. So you schedule, yeah. you sit yeah. one time and you schedule your products forward? Yes, yes. Sometimes I schedule it because uh, I, I think it was AutoDS or Zika says that most people shop around like 3 p.m. Eastern time. So that's like the best time to like schedule it. So I just followed the, what they said and it does, it does work, yeah. Cool, yeah, we, we say this a lot, but uh, the recommended time is basically uh, 6 p.m. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it works well for you? Yeah, it does, yes. Amazing. And, um, like when you look in at dropshipping, first right now, is it your main income or do you have any other jobs? It's, it's extra income because I still work in at five, so I'm trying to make this work so okay, I can leave that, you know. <laughs> so so when, when you look at the future, you want to make this as your main business? Yes, being free and being able to work for anywhere, that's, that's my dream right now. I see. If we if we take you to the point where you're already making full time living from dropshipping, what would you like to do? Like to keep working from home or to start traveling? What? what I probably it? be more um, more active and like try find more other dropshippers and maybe like try to make a community, like probably here in like California or somewhere. Yeah, because I know there's a lot of people that are struggling with money, and we I mean we all we all do when we first start out. I mean I'm, I still am right now too, but. I think when you become successful, you just want to help others, you know? That's what I, what I just want to do. Okay, so uh, so we want to build like a community of dropshippers in California and work with them together? Yes, sounds sounds exactly just what I just uh, wanted to do, yes. yes. It, it's insane. You know, in the yeah. past I thought about, uh, you know, like a co-working place for, uh, co-working space for uh, dropshippers or e-commerce sellers. Yeah. Nice. Um, when, if you look at the products that you're working with, do you work with uh, niches, specific niches, trends, or broad, different I, products? I would say right now, as a start, when you first start out, it's a lot easier to go broad because if you go with niche, then you have to just stick with just one product and, and one niche. That means that you don't know that niche that well. It seems kind of hard to keep the number because you don't know it that well, you know. So you do the testing or on different niches or that's the plan just to keep your store in different directions? I, I would say to start broad, 
follow follow where your competitors are selling because if they have sales in the last couple of days and you you snap their products and then basically from there on out you're you're, you're likely to get a sell eventually so i mean if it works it works it doesn't matter yeah, it what works, you say. it works it works yes because yeah. because basically once you get a sell people are people are going to see that eBay is going to throw you up, up to the top two and see that you're like getting sales and then people are going to click on your your listing because it's, it's on the top, you know? You're at the first page where people are usually search on eBay. You're on the top first page, you're likely to get sales. Okay, I agree. Why, why don't you go to, or, or maybe you just didn't try it or didn't get there still, but why don't you try to, you know, if something works for you, so to try... Uh, work with some bulk uploads and list more products that are similar to this one. Did you try yeah. something like that? I, I haven't tried that yet. No, I haven't. No, no. I probably will have to try that pretty soon. Yeah. Okay, maybe in the next interview we'll say like double of sales because of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. And uh, what uh, did you, right now we have the COVID-19, do you have any like specific products that you listed for that or you still continue working just by what works for others and listing that and that's all? Well, the things that I tried to learn from, uh, cause, cause you don't want to try to compete with the competitors that have like millions, millions of like uh, feedback, you know, cause those guys are too, too high for us and they sell very like expensive products and that makes them a lot of money. So we can't be doing that, especially as, as a new dropshipper. We have to start slow too because eBay has an algorithm where they can detect people being like, new when you're new yes you just just goes pretty slow okay yeah. and uh, do you manage you don't have right now any virtual assistant or something like that right since i say that again sorry do you have any employees any virtual assistant right now no or you... it's just it's just me by myself i'm doing everything manually all by hand and using the software is basically about it and what, what will be your next steps if you want to grow right now? Well, if things go out um, a lot more, then I probably will start hiring virtual assistants. But for now, I can still do everything all by hand, all by myself for now. Cool. I, I agree with that, by the way, because yeah. if you just started and it helps to do the work the best way by yourself yeah. before hiring. Yeah. Cool. Um, did you have any problems right now with shipping times or returns or cancellations, something like that? Um, shipping times, I would say just, just uh, because you don't know your supplier, uh, you don't know how well they're gonna ship you. So I would say kind of just extend your duration. And for returns, I got no returns, but I, I did get refunds uh, from, from buyers that just bought from like, they bought the product and in 30 seconds, they sent me a message, can you please cancel the item? And I gave them the refund, so. No, no problems with it on that part right now. And then, uh, what, what happened to your feedbacks? Um, a lot of that, a lot of them actually haven't been leaving me any feedback because it's it's really optional for them to leave feedback. So I think most of them just want a product, and then they just want to just be on their way. You're sending them any message to ask for feedbacks after uh, you sell yes. the product? Um, because usually, because I have AutoDS automate the message for me. So every time when you upload the the order numbers to the orders it sends an automated message, which I have set up. So most of them sometimes do reply, but after I say, you know, you have any problems, just make sure you message me back or just let me know, you know? And then, but most of them, they just reply back like once or twice. And then from after that, they just um, disappear. <laughs> so, cause we can't bother them to, to leave us feedback. Otherwise eBay could like ding us for that, you know? So it's optional for them. So it's understandable. It's only like 20 orders and you can't be expecting a lot of feedback from like everybody that, that buys from you. It's cause like I said, it's optional. So you just send the three messages of AutoDS that it does for you automatically? Yes, it does, yes. Okay, so basically you use the orders processor for tracking number updates only, but not for automated orders. Yeah, only, only for the tracking, uh, only for the order tracking is about it. But then whenever I send that, most people do send me a message, like I said. And then if they ask me any questions, then I usually try to respond as to my best knowledge. And then from on, there on out, they just, just I got no complaints, so no no complaints, no open, no open cases, so I guess they're happy, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that's insane. Yeah, yeah. 
That's insane. What, what, what's yeah. that thing that you like the most in the dropshipping business? The automation, because um, when I first tried to list items on eBay, like manually by hand, there's a lot of uh, work that you get to like, you know, search the product, what it does, and then you don't know anything about the product. And then you try to list it and then it's just all because it looks kind of like, like, like an amateur look, but using like software like, lists everything for you very, very quick and using the supplier's description most of the time, you just add a little bit and it looks very like professional, you know? It, it can burn. Yeah. And, and how do you, do you optimize your titles, item specifics, images, yes. something? Well, for the titles, yes. You have to optimize your titles. Otherwise, uh, eBay will be like, I don't, we don't know what you're trying to tell your, your uh, buyers to search for, you know? So you have to search just keywords that are like very converting. How do you search for these keywords? Well, I use Zig for my keyword research. Yeah. I see. Okay, that's cool. And what about item specifics? Do you optimize them too? Um, no, I just just, just uh, upload the products, find the winning keyword, and I just post it after like a couple of days, sell just goes through. I really recommend you to try optimizing the item specifics. It will also give good effect for you. Okay. And if you don't want to spend too much time on that, so you can do that at least for the products that works well for you. So if something already shows you that it sells and it it worth your time, so you can optimize your item specific there a bit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll give that a try too. Yeah, sounds sounds sound great. <laughs> yeah, and because then on eBay's filters, uh, more people will find you. Also, it, it's good for Google. It's good for really a, a lot of things. Yeah. Um, and about images, did you try to optimize that? The about images? Uh, I have not tried that, no. Okay, cool. So, so that's also something for products that already starting to show some, you know, potential. It's good to optimize it and then you can beat your competitors even more. Yeah. I do that usually for, uh, you know, for bulk uploads for products that already work for me. So then I can uh, start optimizing them. Um, cool. Um, so would you, uh, wait, what, 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 what is your favorite feature in AutoDS? I would have to say the price automation. That's the best part about AutoDS because let's say you have like thousands of products on eBay and then you had no software to, to control the pricings. But AutoDS can manage all those products for you. Every time the supplier changes their price, whether it increases or decreases. Because you have to manually do everything all by hand. It would be a lot of work. But AutoDS does all the pricing controlling for you, which, which I really love about AutoDS. Yeah. Thank you for the feedback. Yeah. yeah. Um, what uh, what would you recommend to beginners? People just start right now. What would you recommend them to you know to, to do? I would say as a beginner, get ready to use software because that's like the new revolution right now. It's like in the revolution of like doing like whatever you want to do, whether it's eBay dropshipping, Amazon, Shopify, any anything out there. It's, a lot of stuff are starting to become like using software. That's not to say use software. It makes things so much easier, saves you a lot of time and makes the whole thing just so much easier. Cool. Um, and uh, how's your day looks like right now? Like uh, you wake up in the morning going to your other job and then how much time do you spend in your dropshipping business after that? Um, well, I'm usually after, I'm usually free around like 2 p.m. most of the time. So during that time, I'm usually on my laptop most of the time. So I'll probably spend maybe like three three to five hours per day on the eBay dropshipping business around. Okay. Yeah. And uh, wow, with the three to five hours a day in two weeks, you already have uh, this results. It's insane. Yeah, because like we're now, we're now COVID-19 is in effect, so we can't really go out or anything, you know? So we're kind of just stuck at home right now. So it's a great way to learn and make some income on the side, you know? So yeah, and now is the time um, for uh, booming. Yeah, because we're all stuck at home and you don't want to 
catch the virus. So you may as well stay home and try to learn some online skill, you know? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, now you will start uh, growing and uh, like what, what will be your next steps? Do you plan to open more stores or to expand to more suppliers? I actually did a study case in the past week already for myself and a friend of mine. So I recently taught a friend of mine for about I mean, about an hour setting up his Autodias and his eBay store for him. And then he already made four sales in the first week. And I also made like a, a new store for myself and I already made two sales in the first week. Yeah, so what I feel like what I'm doing now it works because it's working for him. It worked for my both my accounts. And I got, I've been getting a lot of people coming to me, asking me like, what are you doing? Like, how, 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 how are you making it sell so fast? What's the secret, you know? And I just have to say, you know, you just have to just do the work and listen to people who are making it. Yeah, that's about it. So, so wait, so now you have two stars and you didn't get it, sorry. So I did, I did a study case for this, this past week. For myself, I have a new account. And then I also have a friend of mine that wanted to learn, so I taught him how to do it. And then he already made four sales his first week, and I already made two sales my first week for my other account. Oh, so that's so, the case study that you posted yeah. in the group? So, 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 so brand, new, brand new eBay account, one week study case, sales happened for both me and my friend. Amazing. And that, yeah. that's the, the, the one that you showed, right, in the yes, group? Yes, that I showed in the group, yes. yes. I can post a lot of my study, uh, my results on my Facebook profile as well. So people could always go by my Facebook profile and look at it too. And also posting like AutoDS and some uh, other paid groups as well too. Yeah. Nice. So maybe people uh, should uh, follow you. How, how they find you? Show one? In, uh... Uh, I think just uh, I'm very active. And at my recent YouTube video, uh, people have been like, yeah, I found you through your YouTube video. It's a, it's a cool video. Like, what do you, like, how do you start, you know? And then I'm like, yeah, I use AutoDS and it's a great software, you know? So I, re I recommend all people to use AutoDS because it's so easy to use. Nice. Yeah. Thanks for the feedback. Um, yeah. Do you have anything that you would like to add more to people to give them some more value, some more motivation, extra knowledge, anything that you would like to say more before we close it? Because the, the case study was from a motivation, you know, because I saw a lot of people in the group saying like, I, I, they can't get their first sale after a couple of months or even like a couple of weeks, you know, like they kind of just, a lot of us haven't really made uh, their first dime online. And the objective with the case study was that it's very possible. Because like I said, my friend that I, that I taught, he never done anything online. Like he's never done nothing at all. Like he doesn't, under, he didn't understand anything I was tell, teaching him until he actually did his own research a little bit. I told him to go on YouTube and just do a little research about eBay dropshipping, which he did. And then after like a couple of days, I talked to him later, he learned a lot. I was like, wow, you learned a lot in a couple of days. He's like, yeah, I did my research. I was like watching the YouTube videos and I got very like, it, it really like brought me into the, the business. I'm like, yeah. And then, and then he, a lot, we were discussing about it. And uh, after we were, he was ready to start, and so maybe we did the thing. And then I was like, you know what? I want to show people that it's very doable using AutoDS software makes everything like so easy and this is why i would recommend an audio desk audio desk people because uh it's it works yeah it works okay great yeah. uh okay i think that we covered everything uh i would like to see in a few weeks what will happen with your store it would be crazy i guess okay. yeah yeah probably yeah yeah, so I wish you a lot of good luck and thank you for coming for this interview. I'm sure it will give to people a lot of value and uh, people can find it in our community. And yeah. also I will share the link to your YouTube channel below this video. Okay, I appreciate it. All right. Thank, thank you, you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.